An attack at a horse stable in Butler County. The attacker seemed to be after the horse's mane and, in one case, cut off the animal's tail. Amy Wattis has the story now in U.S. 6. Peach, Sarah, and Allie have fallen victim to a horse hairdresser, but this horse hairdresser didn't trim their manes and tails for good reason. Selena Carnes is still scratching her head about it. I kind of feel violated like someone came on to our property, hurt innocent horses that, you know, they're, they're some of the nicest mares. They're older, they're, um, you know, they, they let these people come up to them. They trusted them to come up to them in the pasture. Carnes owns Henderson Equestrian Complex in Butler. The complex houses around 30 horses, all with local owners who use them for show or just pleasure. Peach and Sarah are retired show horses. Allie still shows. Especially for um, show horses, you know, it's, it's part of the beauty of the horse is their mane and their tail. They were in this pasture in broad daylight Wednesday when she says it happened. A neighbor spotted a suspicious car. To have someone so calculated to bring scissors or whatever and we don't know why. Now Peach is the only horse that lost her entire tail out of the three. I'm told her tail used to go all the way down to the ground, but as you can see, it was cut right below her tailbone. I don't know if it's just to be vindictive or, you know, if they're using it to sell it for jewelry or tail extensions. Shipley says using horse hair to make jewelry is a growing trend. She's heard of hair cutting happening more out west, but not in this part of the country. The owners of the farm did buy security cameras, so we do have that up now. And state police are looking for the culprit. In Butler, Amy Wattis, KDKA TV News.